I'm going to show you how to create a text genre container using a script. So in our script, we're going to first, we're going to use two events. The first one is we're going to reg register two parameters, one for the input of the path to the image and a button to trigger the change. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's register a string to get the path. So the register parameter string function gets uh, two uh, five inputs. The first one is the name. Then we have the label that appears in the GUI. We have the default text, which we will leave empty. And the length of the widget in the GUI is 50. Max length will set it to 1000. And the last is a car, car set, which we don't need. So we just leave it empty. Uh, the next pa uh, parameter we want to register is a button to refresh the image. So register push button. Uh, let's create, this, is a, this receives three inputs. So we have the, the name, the label that appears in the GUI, and an ID. So let's just compile the script. You can see we now have these two parameters in our script. Okay, so when the button is pressed, we want something to happen. So for this, we use the uh, on execute action. So we want to retrieve the path that the user inputted. So we will just create a new variable, a new string, which will hold the path. Now to get the value from the GUI interface, we use get, uh, sorry, path equals get parameter string, and we pass it the name of the parameter. So this value over here should match the value from the register function. Okay, so now that we have the path, let's use this, because we're working in this container that the script is on, create a texture, and then we can pass it the path variable. Uh, let's compile this and see if it works. I'm going to pass a path to an image on my local computer. Press refresh, and there it goes. It's created the texture for us, and I can change the texture just like that.